welcome back to our channel the big king family i'm yolanda the mother of the big king family and i am back with you today with another dollar tree haul i always pick up these items throughout the week while i am working there. i do work part-time at the dollar tree and i really find some great finds so let's just get right into it i'm going to show you guys this cocoa pebbles it's a big old big old chocolate rabbit bunny bunny rabbit or whatnot or whatnot um it was for the it's by post it was for the easter holidays and as of now our easter candy is 75 percent off so this was five dollars y'all during the easter holiday five dollars now it's only a dollar and 25 cent i said i'll try it for a dollar 25 cents so i got this cocoa pebble one and um i think this is gonna be good because i like cocoa pebble cereal and i think it's all in there they say it's all in there in the they broke it doing a buddy team broke it in here trying to get it talking about chocolate chocolate and then i did get just a straight russell's stover russell stover milk chocolate bunny it's really big you see it's even longer than my head so i know it is really big uh it was five dollars but now it is 75 percent off at a dollar and 25 cents so i got one of these and one of these and me and the whole family i'll cut it up and we'll eat it you know hey uh you know i'm really looking forward to the cocoa pebble one but everybody in the store when they were buying them for five dollars they say it's just something about russell stover bunnies i don't know if there's a difference it's probably all the ruffles stover chocolate right they're saying it's something about their bunnies that their chocolate is so good when the way they just make it i don't know and i really just haven't really i've heard russell stover is a good chocolate but in the the grocery store their chocolates are so expensive i never hardly even go that way so i don't I, I don't really eat those like that so i'm gonna definitely chop that up and have a little give a little luxury tasting right there because i don't too much buy that chocolate because it's so expensive in the store i did want to show you guys that i did get these nerd uh big chewy nerd uh jelly beans so they're supposed to be jelly beans but they kind of have like a little texture to them and you can see kind of rocky texture like to them and you know what they remind me of they remind me of the um nerd clusters nerd clusters and my grandbaby uh Tink she loved the nerd clusters so i think she would really like these this was a bigger bag of candy um a lot of people saying they're hearing that they're gonna bring in bigger bags of candy and um bigger size candy for the three four and five dollars which they did for easter for our store we had these were three dollars fifty cent and the Russell, Russell Stouffer. We had a big bag of M Ms. I think a big bag of Starburst that was five dollars, but these were three dollars fifty cent. So with seventy five percent off these, these were only eighty eight cent per bag. Eighty eight cent. That's even cheaper than the regular price at our store, which is a dollar twenty five. So I, did, I got three bags of these, and they definitely they remind me of like the Nerd Clusters. And um, man, people literally come in there looking for the Nerd Clusters. They say it by name. I'm looking for the nerd clusters. I, I'm, I'm looking for the nerd clusters. You have that candy. You have that candy. So that must be a really popular candy. And this is what they, it reminds me of. I'm hoping that the kids really like it. This is something that we haven't gotten. I think we've gotten it twice since I've been working there. I'm serious. <laughs> and it's something simple and to the point. But it's the name brand. Um, the name brand like travel size items we ha we don't get that just too often um so you got your old spice right here old spice spice it do smell really good and Ducey will really use it Ducey will use it he really likes it so this is a great deal but what i feel like is an even better deal is that i had picked up the x also we got the x in but this is not this is okay i guess this is a trial size and this is a travel size because this size right here is 1.4 ounce and uh-oh, I dropped that. And this one right here is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 ounce. And then you get a full ounce and four, four more um, 0.4 ounces on this one. 1 1.4 and 0 0.8. So, you know, as far as the size difference go, you're getting a little bit more on that X. And that's a pretty good little size ball for $1.25. You're going to look up these trial size deodorants in the store. Why are they 3 and $4? Why are they? What? I don't know what's going on there. Why would the travel side be three or four dollars? But they know people will get them because people do like to get them and travel with them. Yes. So, but then I got this axe and I did. I had opened it up at one time before. It smells so good. Now this is one of Ducey's favorite deodorants. 
So I'll probably get more ass in order to stock them up on it. Dollar twenty five, you cannot beat it. You can't beat it. And for the Old Spice trial size, the trial size Old Spice is probably about three dollars in regular stores. I, I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is. Now this right here, the Prime drink. This is your tropical punch. This is your tropical punch one right here. Uh, as I said, he got energy drinks, but this right here would be more like a Gatorade, a Pyrate Zero Light drink. I think they only have five calories, but the Prime drink, your Prime drink has about 20 to 25 calories. I know the Lemon Lime one I had got only had 20 calories, and this bottle has 25 calories, which is not bad at all. To me, I don't know what's going on with the green drink or whatnot, but the Lemon Lime one was a bit too sweet to me. And there's no sugar in it, so whatever they're sweetening it with, I think they're going a little overboard or something. I don't know what it is. I just, I, you know, I didn't like the, how sweet it was. So I'm hoping this one is a little more calmer. Now we, ha I've never seen the red, white, and blue one in the Dollar Tree, but my daughter Cheyenne, aka Tippy, she says that one is delicious. They're the sports drink with the red, white, and blue prime is delicious. So I really want to try it. I might even grab it from Walmart in order to try it. But we be getting the Tropical Punch, the Lemon Lime, and the blue one. The blue one is very popular. I can't never seem to get it. I just got this one this week because we got it back in on the truck. So, well, we'll see how the Tropical Punch go. I didn't too much like the Lemon Lime one. It was very, very sweet, you guys. Very sweet. This is something I've been looking for at the Dollar Tree. It's your three-pack of these. Uh, noodle things right here. I think in a regular grocery store they're running between 60 to 99 cents each. You know, and you're gonna get three of them for just a dollar or a dollar twenty-five or whatnot. So that's like about 40 cent or 39 cent each container. Not too shabby, not too bad. And they it say chicken ramen. Um, I don't know exactly what the is it ramen? Uh, it might be random. I don't know. But these are your cup noodles. Just probably regular cup noodles. I did get two of these. We have we really been getting the packs of noodles. So, but I got a couple of these cups right here. Not too shabby. Three for just a dollar twenty-five. That's a really good deal. And this is our first week ever getting these. I've never seen them in our store. So I thought that was a really good deal. I've been seeing people haul them, and we're just now getting them. Uh, we do run behind putting our freight out sometimes. So. Could have been there maybe a week before that but that's about it i did get one more of the chipotle jasmine rice i told you guys i'm gonna get one more and that's six which is only three di three dinners for us because we are a family of nine in the house in our house it's a family of nine and um when we do rice on the side or even in a meal we're gonna need two of these in order to suffice the meal and feed everybody all right so i got that i know there's another one another flavor floating around and i'm gonna get six of those also so that was real that's just really great to stock up on that rice like that and another stock up item i did was the jet puffs i got them in another haul but uh we could use it for rice krispie trees for hot cocoa and just to plain out eat because the kids would actually just plain out eat them so uh, i definitely gonna utilize them i got two bags of these they're all gone. There's no more. We had got a big box with about 30 in them, maybe. 30 in the big box. There's a big box. We had it sitting on the, you know, shelf or whatnot. And I got two one week. And see, this week I got some more. And they are all gone. They are all gone. We have no more. So people are really happy to get that deal because in a grocery store, I'm thinking those are running you between 2 and $3 per bag for the Jet Puff brand. And the mini marshmallows, we don't normally get the mini marshmallows. Marshmallows. We normally get the jumbo ones. Um, so I was very happy to get that deal. Going on with the food, I did pick the, one of my absolute all-time favorite snacks from the Dollar Tree is these dried, freeze-dried apples right here. So natural freeze-dried apples. These are just downright delicious. I absolutely love the apples. I love the pears. I'm hoping that we will get the bananas. They do have a mixed fruit and a peach one and a strawberry one. Um, yeah, they're not my favorites. But I'm looking for that banana to hit. I have seen people haul the banana one, so I know they do have the freeze-dried bananas. Yeah. A really good snack. Very good snack. Very just a very good snack. I feel like a pretty healthy snack. Nothing is in it. They say ingredients, apples. Just straight apples. 
they just freeze dry the apples and put them in here. Awesome. You know, they're not adding a whole lot. Just that and the other. Are you, even if they add a little bit, apples are still, man, you, you can't beat it for a pretty healthy snack, you know. Another thing I absolutely love, y'all know I love my drink packets. I love my drink packets, so I did get A&W Root Beer and Crush Grape. Those are my two all-time favorite packets and they do have them at the dollar tree all the time i got two of these but one is already in progress i probably already didn't use two of the other one in, in waters in cold waters i got one waiting for me in the freezer right now so when i finish my videos i'm gonna go and get it and then i have some more stuff to do around the house of course of course i do of course i do i did get some more pretty good deals on socks I mean, y'all gotta see socks probably in every single video. It don't make any sense how many good deals we get on socks. It just doesn't make any sense. It really don't. So, um, we got these gilding socks, six pair. Just always look through your sock aisle, see if you can get some. Cause I know they're probably running five to ten dollars per pack in just regular Walmart. So I mean. They're pretty expensive er everywhere else. That's this a six to a ten to a twelve pack. You definitely not gonna get it for under five dollars. I don't think you are. If you do, Ooh. and you know these are gray and black, and I think these are for like kind of like you. It's a bigger board sitting there. Um, this is the next size up for doing bud. So I will put this away for doing bud. It's, this is a next size up for doing bud. Don't know if I'm really gonna put it up for doing bud or not. I have to see, cause I'm gonna have to see. And then I, I was thinking about doing it when I had got these socks, but I know that other one in the other video I showed you guys definitely will work for doing it, but so I'm very happy. I don't never have to worry about him socks too much because not too long before that, it may have been six months or four months before that, I had found some socks and I got three packs to make sure I loaded them up. And then I got this one pack, another one pack like last week for him. You know, uh, socks do grow leg, grow legs and walk away. I, I don't know what they got going. I, I don't know. You know, you have socks one day and the next day you don't even have that many socks. I don't know what be going on. I, I, it's just really dumb. Now these right here, these are about doing a butt speed too right here. Some boys socks, a six pack. So now this would be the other pack for him to kind of add to his sock collection. These look a little small though, but we will see. We will see. Doodle Boy is not that small of a boy. He five years old, but we get him a size medium in um, Boston Breeze. And that's only because we don't like them real tight on them. I think they're meant to be kind of snug and stuff, but we just like from the fit them, you know, comfortably, you know, kind of comfortably. And the last uh, thing on these socks is that I had got these desk and socks right here. This is the next size up for Tink Tink. A little six count. A little sock girl socks for her size 10 and a half to four and she wears a size nine in shoes now a little nine taller so she got a pretty good little plank on her but she don't she's not in tens yet so i got i got two of these we had quite a bit of these other people's coming through with these so i got two of these for her very very nice desk and now you know probably definitely from Walmart, some little socks they sent. I'm talking about they sent us socks galore. So I got some for Dunabug, some for Tink, some for all the girls, some for them to work in, some for Ducey. I mean, I was able to get some, a little something for everybody. My husband, I think I did get a pack of the men's socks, but my husband, he still has brand new socks in his sock drawer. So yeah, so you know, person don't need nothing. I just don't, I don't know. He just stays stocked up on that type of stuff. You know, he's just that type of person. And before I end this video, I'm going to show you these last two items, you guys. I I mean, everything I get, I need and use. I don't necessarily need it, but I definitely utilize it. We utilize everything I pick up from Dollar Tree. We use it, and we're us being a big family. It's a blessing to get these things at these prices. Uh, our household is a family of nine. Stock it up at a really good price, $1.25. That's a pretty decent, decent deal for me. I'll take it. So, I got the last of the... Cure alcohol pads. You guys know I do put my fake nails on. I do put my, I got some on now. It's like a pink shimmery, and some of them have a few little designs or whatnot on there. So I do put them on. This, these have been on for a week, and this is my second week. So I always let them go two weeks, and then I try to get them off. But I do wipe them down with these Cure alcohol prep pads. 
I could get them anywhere else or this and that. I don't even think they're no different or better or nothing like that because of the name brand. But if you can get a name brand pack at the Dollar Tree, and I mean, a hundred come in there. So I did get three more packs. I, this is all I saw left on the shelf. We probably got a couple of boxes of them, you know, a couple of cases of them or whatnot. But I ended up getting six boxes of this. That should stop me up for a while. I'm talking about for a while. It should stop me up for a while. Like when we get good items in like that, people don't be playing. They, they go ahead and get it. So I do know when I go back, I'll be getting the last of it. I might get the last one or two. So people go ahead and buy it. Last but not least on this video, I did get this. It reminds me, this is just softy, herbal grow. And it just agrees, you know, to put on tink scalp sometimes. You know, like if I'm doing a hair or something. And it smells so good. It reminds me of Palmer's. It, there's a Palmer's herbal grease that I used to use on uh, Tink Hair. It's all gone now. This is only $1.25. Pretty good amount. Will last a long time. Just something to kind of put on her hair. Maybe we even put it on, on my scalp. I don't know. They tell you not to like grease your scalp or whatnot. But, you know, I might use it, might not. But I definitely will be using it on Tink Hair, especially when I do little plaits or braids. Thank you guys, y'all, for joining me for this Dollar Tree haul. I got, I'm just going to probably pretty much have a, quite a few Dollar Tree hauls and my grocery hauls on this channel i will be putting up my shorts let you guys know what's going on with the family and um, different things that we are doing thank you so much for all your support i love you guys and until next time youtube stay blessed